And welcome to an episode of Big Bonding Brush with your host, CNK. That's me, Christina Wilkinslow. Today, we are painting Georgia O'Keeffe's Autumn Leaves. And it is autumn. I have my sweater on. It's freezing. Woo! Summer is gone and fall is here. So this was originally done in 1924, and we're going to reproduce it today. Super, super fun. Hey, we did it in the miniature masterpiece right here. That was a lot of fun. Don't forget, this is going to go up for auction in the acute auction house the first Friday of next month, live at 8 o'clock. Mountain Standard Time. Okay, what do we need? We need canvas. I use an 11 by 14. You can use whatever size you want. You could use cardboard. You could use, gee, whatever you can get your hands on to paint is what you're gonna use. You could paint this on the wall. You could paint it on the door. You could paint it on the floor. You could paint it, I don't know. You could paint it anywhere you really wanted to. Um, I also have an easel, although you don't have to use an easel either. A lot of people paint flat. I have water because I'm using acrylics. This was originally done in oil, but we always use acrylics. It dries really fast and it's super malleable with water. So I have water. I have my paintbrushes. I have a large flat, a medium flat. Uh, small flat, I like flats, and um, a few rounds, little detail brushes. And I always have a wide variety of brushes, you know, to use. You can use whatever brushes you your little heart desires. Um, I have a palette in which I use uh, dump my paint. And as you can see, it's pretty busy right now. It's pretty messy. It's all dry. It's kind of glorious. Every now and again, I peel it. It's super fun. Maybe I'll do a little video for that. A uh, TikTok video. Ha! Huh. And I usually and always print off a print of the painting that we're going to emulate. And our acrylic paints. So there we have it. Oh, and don't forget napkins. Plenty and plenty of napkins. We need napkins. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to start by just doing a nice outline of, there's pretty much three primary leaves that aren't brown. So we're gonna get those outline, outlined. Oh, shake it up, baby. My, my paint is even cold. Yes, it is. And so I just have a brown paint and my paint I have a brown or a burnt sienna or anything like that. It's gonna be really nice. Wow, making some glorious noises. Who arted? Um, I have a yellow, a green, a red, an orange, a black, and a white. Okay, for right now, we are simply going to use the brown and we're gonna sketch it out. So I'm gonna use one of my finer brushes that have been sitting in the water clearly too long. They have a little bend to them. <laughs> okay. And we always get it wet because paint brushes like to be wet and dry it off on your towel. And then let's get some paint. Okay. So I'm going to start with the vein of this here leaf because it seems like it's pretty much center and goes up about midway. So up about midway, but over just maybe a smidgelin, right? And then we're gonna go down. It's just, it's just left of center. Well, I saw I put a little dot down there too. And then I'm just gonna do a little curve. Now remember, we're emulating Giorgio O'Keeffe's autumn leaves. So if your leaves do not look exactly like Georgia O'Keeffe's, then that's great. That means that you 
are embracing your own breaststroke. Okay. Yeah, this paint is thick. We're gonna end up going over it anyway, but it, it is brown. And get that curve in there. Bringing it down. So when your paint's thick, just add a little bit of water to it. Acrylic likes the water. There we go. Okay, so there's that main leaf right there. And let's get it outlined. We don't wanna go over too far. We wanna make room for this red leaf. So just kind of sketch it out. It's okay if it's not perfectly um, darkened in. We're gonna be coming up to it with paint. So we have a little hump there. Following along, bump, bigger bump, bump. Down, getting over. Looks like we're staying on track for the most part. <laughs> This here leaf. <clears throat> All right, getting near the end. We are going to end up flipping the painting and and finishing this little tip of the leaf where it would be around the bottom. It would be really nice when it's hanging on the wall. Okay, and then let's do the other side. So it goes up. a nice little whippy do let's try that one <sighs> and whoop be do <laughs> that was a sloth whippy do for sure okay and then some more water in this paint. It's thicker than molasses. Mm. I'm gonna come out a little further. This is just kind of a triangle, sort of comes down into a valley. And a little bit bigger of a whoop de woo. Whoop de woo. Whoop de woo. And little pointed action. These are actually this leaves, autumn leaves, is from Still Life. She did Still Life, a Still Life study of leaves. Um, what was it said that, oh goodness, um, she was said to have covered the subject of leaves 29 times between 1922 and 1931. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of leaf study. She did a lot of flowers, skulls, Southwest desert, in particularly New Mexico, um, Ghost Ranch area near Abacu, Abacu, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, New Mexico, near Santa Fe. 
And Santa Fe is where her museum is, the Georgia O'Keeffe Museum. It's really awesome. Uh, I took a group of kids to Santa Fe, high school kids. That was great. Great fun. Oh my goodness. I, I can't, I think we went for five days. Oh yeah, we could have stayed longer too. It was pretty groovy. I want to do it again. All right, we're working on this other leaf here. This red leaf. We went to Ghost Ranch as well. We did want to take, they have horseback rides um, that take you out to where Georgia O'Keeffe spent the last of her years. Uh, this cabin, but we, we didn't get to go to that. All right, there's a fly that has entered the building. Shoe fly. Don't bother me. Well, okay. That's an interesting leaf shape. Fun. So, the yellow leaf, the red leaf. And then from here... This leaf goes up to like here, the stem. Okay. Go for it, just go for it. I'm just seeing that right here connects onto that first little whoop de woo that we painted. Awesome. And then from here, that's where about that line's going to go over. I'll just sketch that in, right? <clears throat> and then this top of the leaf is going to go all the way up. And you can't see it. But we're going to carry it on over. Yep. And then this part of the leaf goes a nice little curl starting right here on the right side of the leaf up. Remember that you can paint and pause at your leisure. Oh, I missed that. Let me slow it down. What in tarnations? Uh, or maybe you need to pop some popcorn. Or the baby's calling. Paint and pots. It's a glorious thing. I know that some of us have a little bit of time on our hands. So why not challenge yourself to paint all these masterpieces? How fun is that? If you do, make sure that you share photos, videos. Share. Sharing is caring. There's one side of the leaf, leave, and then we're going to carry it on up to the top. Carry it on up. All right. And the other side. Oh, maybe I should go over here so you can see it better. Can you? I don't know. Um, 
other side. that. Well, uh, whatever. Is like that. Embracing that imperfection. <clears throat> I, I, I am really having a hard time painting this way. So I'm going to do my best to stay out of the way. Okay. Following that line along. So go on up. Like a so. Oh yeah, that's got this side has got a nice swoop down. Swoop down and then come on out again. Georgia O'Keefe really had a way of of looking at things in the world. You know, how many times do you walk past leaves and you don't notice the curve and texture of each one, the shape, the color? A lot. We all do. I'm guilty. Okay. Yeah, that was an interesting shape. And around. Looks like we're right on target right on target and a little more and bring it on down whoa great okay we'll worry about the rest of the details of that later but for now we're going to oh we didn't finish we need to bring that line up here on top Just differentiate where the leaf is and and we'll do the same thing on the bottom but Right now, we're going to mix up a lighter brown, and we're going to do all of the background in the lighter brown, and then build up the dark leaves and darkness areas. So, we have our brown that's mixed up right, that is right there, ready for mixing. Let's get a little bit of white. All right. And I'm going to pull out... The yellow, the orange, the red, and the green right now. This is going to go fast. Um, I suggest you do the same. Unless you um, are going to paint and pause. Also, whenever I'm walking away for a duration of time, I will take a Ziploc bag and just lay it on top. Or if you are working on a plate, paper plate. Some of those plates can fit inside of your Ziplocs. So that'll help keep it from drying out because it dries out really fast. Oh, I didn't shake it. Yellow, white, brown. Oh boy. These are big old, big old jugs of paint. I do like the little, the little things of paint. what I started painting with. So I still use that paint. Whoa. 
That's juicy. Whoa. Okay. Bleep. Bleep and bleep bleep. I also have an apron on. That I made from a t-shirt. Okay. We have our paint. Have paint, we'll paint. I'm taking my big brush, getting it wet, wiping it off on the paper towel, and dropping it on the floor. Ta-da! And maybe even getting paint in my hair in the process. That's how I roll. Here we go. I'm going to take some of that brown, that pure brown, over to my white. And I'm going to mix it. I'm going to make a light brown. This, that, this is, or a tan. This is way too light for, for my liking. So I'm going to add a little more brown to it. Thick brown. I don't know what's up with that. I just don't. I'm not a firm believer in throwing away paint. I have a picnic table outside, and anytime we have extra paint, we go out there and we're painting it. Okay. Still doesn't, I feel like what I'd really like is a little bit of red, of which I didn't, it's kind of got a nice little red tint to that. So I'm gonna get some red out. Bring a little red to that tan that I'm... What have I created here? Keep mixing. Boy, I don't know what color that is. It's a rose. <laughs> well, hmm. Some more brown. Yo, yo, I don't like that color. Let's add some yellow to it. Let's bring it over. Ooh, we are having fun now, aren't we? There we go. <laughs> now we're, 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 we're getting to the color that I want. Yeah, that's better. That was very rosy. Oh, I like that. <sighs> Phew! Um, that was brown, red, and yellow, and white. Okie dokie. We are going to start at the top. We like to make sure and cover all of the edges so that we can hang it right up on the wall when we're done. So, we're going to start just a solid brown, yummy color. It's nice on both sides. We're gonna get that painted first so that by the time we get down to the bottom, we can flip it and we can paint the bottom. And, uh, uh, and then that'll be nice. Okay, so the top, except for where the leaf is, is painted. And we're gonna go all the way down the sides on both sides. Yeah, all the way down. And to the other side. I'll just turn it like this. Wheat. And all the way around the leaf. And so I'm gonna paint the majority up too close to the leaf and then I'm going to break out with a smaller paintbrush to do the details. So let's just get that covered.
all the way down to the bottom. And the other side. One of my little tricks is that if I know I'm going back through here, I'll just paint, use a lot of paint and then I don't have to dip my smaller paint brush in the paint as much, if that makes sense. I can just pick it up off the canvas. So I'm going to switch over to a smaller brush. I'm going to use this smaller flat. Ooh, it's crunchy. Sit in the water. I'm notorious for that. Not cleaning my brushes. Bad girl. Okay. So we're just going in and doing all up to the edge here. A lot of this is going to be darkened, but we're just going to get it all painted and then start adding as we go along. Capiche. Did you know, did you know that Georgia O'Keeffe was the daughter of a dairy farmer born in Wisconsin and she was named after her grandfather, George, isn't that cute, George. She knew at the age of 10 that she wanted to be an artist. But then she got super frustrated because she was like not into um, realism, which is, it was thought, it is thought, it's, you know, whatever, that if you don't paint, if you can't paint realism or you don't paint, paint realism, that you're not a, a true artist, that abstract is not is not an art, is not a true art, but I, um, you know, I, I, it is hard for some people to be, to let loose and just be abstract, for sure. And so I disagree. Okie dokie. Brief, uh, you know, I always forget to put my phone on, do not disturb. It's the story of my life. Anyway, no big deal. We are continuing on here with the outline of the leaf. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna save this brown too. There's there is quite a bit of brown that I mixed here. So I'll be able to go through and do some layering with the lights after I do the darks. Yeah, I don't know about you, but as soon as I started painting fall paintings, everything, the weather turned. And it's nice because everything's been super smoky. Okay. How's that top? Ooh, it is still pretty darn damp. So, you could take and pause 
for, oop, I forgot this little spot. Pause until your top is dry. Or you could flip it. I'm gonna flip it. Flip it. All right, and then I'm gonna go along here and get the top painted. I'm gonna leave a little point where I would think this leaf is at. But the rest is just going to be this brown. Ah. Paintbrush is falling apart. Hey, it's just not my painting day. But that looks pretty good, right? All right, we're going to let that dry. Actually, we can keep painting upside down for just for just a minute. Why not? Get rid of all my paintbrushes right here. And we're going to paint this leaf. We're going to get just a base of yellow on this here leaf. while we're flipped. Start at the top. A little teeny bit. So now we have the whole top, aka bottom, painted. Good, good work there. And with this yellow, I can really just paint right over that middle, middle vein of the leaf. We'll be doing some greens and some reds and some more yellow in here and some dirty and some yellow up and not and this is not pop art. For heaven's sake. Great! That's yellow. And then the tip of the upside down. So if we were to flip it, this down here is yellow. So let's get some up yellow in there too. Even though there's this little speck of orange, I'm just going to pretend this whole thing is yellow. And it goes to this tip. Nice. Paint all that yellow. Oh, I picked up some brown. It's okay. That's dirty. Hey, look at that. That is actually a nice little dirty yellow side. So 
Good job, Kinslow. Everything's turning around for me. Happy little, happy little accidents. Thank you, Bob. All right. While I'm waiting for this top to dry, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna work on this little leaf right here. And that is an orangey red and I have my orange and I have my red. So, hmm, wow, that's coincidental. I'm gonna take some of this red over to my orange and mix it up. Ooh, wow, that is a color, isn't it? That is so bright. Look at that. Wow, that's crazy bright. That's like fire. Hmm, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to it. That's my go-to. Uh, when in doubt, add yellow to it. Hey, look at that, and it worked. That's a firecrackery. I liked that, though. Ooh. Hmm? Yeah. Mm. Mm? Mm -hmm. Okay. And this paintbrush is, seems a little too excessive for me. I'm going to get rid of it. Pick up a smaller paintbrush. Get that all red. And that is nice red that I'm seeing throughout in different places too. That's like, that's really yummy. Bird firecracker firecracker desert firecracker I don't know I like it in that color sure do like it I went to the Georgia O'Keeffe Museum. I've been there twice. And she has a few sculptures <clears throat> that are there that are absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I want to get paint on my shirt today. Um, absolutely gorgeous sculptures. As well as her detailed zoomed in flowers her desert scapes her skulls she also did sculpture pretty cool huh her very first exhibit was kind of by accident she had well she had a friend and her friend asked if she could see pictures like these charcoal drawings and then her friend gave them to Alfred Ziegler. Ziegler? Am I pronouncing that right? Zig Ziglitz? Zig. It's terrible. Anyway, that is terrible. He is, he's the one that made her famous. He took those charcoal drawings and did a, a gallery show without her permission. And she walked into the gallery show and was like, uh, mm-hmm. And then they fell madly in love. And she moved to New York from Wisconsin. 
and um, who is married. Shame, shame, shame. But they were in love. So well, what's a girl to do? I feel like before I get into any more detail, unless I am to flip this, which I could easily do. Flip it for a second. Aha! Well, look at that, would you? Now we can work on this a little bit. So... See, it's a good thing I stopped when I did. That's where that green spot's gonna go. And then orange down like a so. So that's all some of that lovely, lovely orange that we created. Get that in there. Yeah, see, now that I flipped it over, I can see that yellow needs to come up here more. If I were to follow O'Keefe's leaf, I can make it my own too. I'll just go with it. Might just do that. Why not? There's this little orange, orangey red spot here. Then over on the flip side, looks like our orange kind of goes. Not like that. So I'm gonna grab a bigger brush, bigger brush, bigger area. Anybody confused, Jet? Don't be. There we go. Yeah. Loving it. We're practically done. I'm going to um, put this yellow in here. Spaced it earlier. Yeah, just the like a so. There we go. Excellent. And so, oop, there's a little bit of the orange over here. Let's do that. Let's get that orange on there. Over this little leaf, part of the leaf, just go in here, and then the rest of that is green. A little bit over here, 
Now there's all kinds of hints of red out here, but before we get to working out there, I want to do my lines, get my darks in there, and then we can go through with some of these reds and highlights. Okay, capiche, capoche. So that being said, let's move on and get that green on there. And then by about that time, well, we are close to dry up here on top. We'll be able to flip it over, start putting in the lines for the leaves in the background. All right. Green. We do have <clears throat> right over here, a little bit of green, a little bit of green. I'm gonna blend that in. And I'm gonna do so with a dry brush. We're just squishing it around a little bit. Pick it up some of that paint. There we go. All right. Put one there's a little green line to there. A little smushy mushy. A little smushy mushy. All right. Oh, one line, not two. Okay, well, got a little sidetracked there. Green. Anywhere where there's white left on this top leaf should be green. And the stem is going to be uh, red. Super close to having the entire canvas covered. Oh. Those nice autumn colors in there. Super yummy. All right. Feeling happy about that. I get it blended a little bit. We like those darker colors. Okay, and I'm feeling good enough to flip it. So let's do that. Ta da! Flip that. Oh. All right. our leaves okay and we need to get the top painted yellow and our entire canvas will be covered Woohoo!
Sweet. There we are. Now, back to our original dark brown. I don't know. Does anybody have any of that left? Probably not. I don't. And if you don't, then it's time to get some of that out right now. Get a little more of that true brown. Woo! That noisy brown. And I'm also going to put a little black off to the side. I'm gonna make a nice dark, yummy, near black brown as well. All right. Let's get going. Let's get going with a small brush, small detail brush. And we're going to sketch out those lines of the leaves in the background. So start over here and we have just looking at there's a leaf there. Could be a big leaf in the background. I'm gonna bring it around the edge. I'm also gonna bring it around the edge right here. And then we also have this little thing. Let's get that in there. Yeah, I almost feel like it is a big leaf that we're working on back here. There we go. And there's like this stem that breaks off into this kind of V. that around, wrap that around. Great. So now, see, now we know where we want to put our reds and our greens and our other colors like that. So there's all that. And then More leaves wrap around. This is a cool little I like this swoop. Swoop. And then down here are these like I don't know. They're kind of around oak leafy oak oak leafy am I right on my leaves perhaps 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 okay 
And then over here onto this side, we have the stem goes all the way. We'll just continue it around the edge. And then there's edge of the leaf. Oh yeah, that's some thick paint. Thick brown paint. And then that being said, we have these other guys. I would just have to extend those over when we flip it again for one last time. And we're going to pretend that we know where that's going. And we're going to pretend we know where that leaf is going. Psst. Right. And then we have the top of this here leaf. Okay. Pretending like we know where it's going. Go. Mm -mm. It's all in the detail. Once we get these lines in, then it's just a matter of picking up a color and smudging it where we think it needs to go. Right? Sounds easy enough. This goes over here. Like so. And this. And then pretend like we know where they're going around the edge. It makes it all the more interesting. Okay. And then like a so Okay. Put that leaf. Goes around the edge. Pretty darn sure of that. And then this is a point, right? So I'm going to just assume that line goes there.
That didn't line out exactly like Georgia's. That's okay. Woohoo! Got the outlines drawn in. And that is looking fantastic. All right. I need to work on the lines right here. So starting. water with that brown my, my brown just following that main that main part of the line down let's see up here this light line that goes up that way and that way like that Trying to get all the detail of the leaf in there. Shapes. Remember, this is an abstract. So, an abstract is not the same as a non-representational. Non-representational is what a lot of people think abstract is. Right? It doesn't represent something. It's abstract. It doesn't, what is it? It's abstract. No, it's non-representational is what it is. It doesn't represent anything. This is an abstract. Meaning, it represents leaves. But it isn't an exact replica of leaves. Make sense? I loved it when I found that out because I didn't always know that. I didn't. I wasn't born knowing that. More detail. And all these paintings, if you know me and you painted along with me, you know I could just keep painting and painting and painting. Comes a point where I will have to put my paintbrush down. You could keep working on it though. You could certainly hang it on the wall don't quite sign it. Hang it on the wall. See if there's anything else that you really need to do to it. All right. This looks like some shading and stuff to me. So, awesome sauce on that one. We're gonna let that dry just a little teeny bit and then we're gonna come in and we're gonna do uh, the rest of the detail, okay? So I'll just take a break and let's let it, let's let it dry. Okay, we're back and 
We're mostly dry. I ate a couple of Oreos. I don't know what you did, but that's what I did. Um, we're going to go through and work on the little bit of shading throughout these leaves and then focus on the outside leaves. So let's do that by the key here is to have watered down paint, but not watered down too much. I'm going to take this dirty brush and just tamp it right off. And I can see that I've got a little bit of the red in there. So I'm gonna go through and just kind of morph it around a little bit, if that makes sense. I'm almost kind of watercoloring with it, I suppose. Okay, let's pick up the next paintbrush. See what color we have on that. Oh. We need to pick up a little bit of brown, I think. So I'll go brown, a little bit of wet, tamp it off because you don't want it to drip. And then you just want to come in through here and get it dirtied up just a little bit and see if it gets too dark through there, which I think it's too dark. Get your brush wet and just morph it through before it dries. Blend those edges. There we go. Sweet. I'm digging it, man. So that's pretty bright through there. This is pretty dark through here. Let's get some dark, some water. Blend it. Nice. We've got a nice dark spot through all through here, but not completely. There we go. Bring it down. And a little more up above here. Ooh, that was a lot of paint. Some of that up, bring it on over here. Dirty down there. This is all going to be a nice red hue all through here. So let's do that. Let's get some red. Let's get some water. Tamp it off a little bit. And right up to the edges because we're going to be coming up to there with some dark colors. Nice. Sweet. Let's go back to just that dirty brown. Get rid of that red. Just the brown. A little through there, a little through there. Get it wet. Smudge it around. If you feel like you've made it too dark, you can always go through with a little bit of yellow and bring some yellow on top of it. And even more so after it dries um, a bit. Okay, I see a little bit of green right through here. Just a little bit and a little bit through there too. So I got my color, get my wet paintbrush. can really blend it out. And again, I, I have too much green through there. I need a teeny bit of red right there. Teeny. Little red goes a long way, folks. And like 
like I said, I have, I feel like I have too much green. So I'm gonna go through and just bring some more yellow on top of that. There we go. Excellent. A little brown through there. Dirtying it up through there and there and there. And there. All right. wet brush, damp brush, smurge it out a little bit. There we go. There. <clears throat> I got a little bit of darker through here. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Take a little bit of this dark brown. Come along through here. I'm gonna go through it with an even with the really dark, 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 dark brown that we're gonna do, but we're gonna start with a little bit of shading right through there. And I think that's kind of all that leaf really needs. Okay take a look at this leaf up here I'm seeing that the green needs a little work so let's get some more green on there let's get it solid where it's supposed to be solid and blended where it's supposed to be blended so we won't use the water on the solid parts and we'll use the water on the non-solid parts on the parts that need blended does that make sense Smoogy, smoogy green over here. So I just got a little water, a little water to it. Because we want it kind of soft. We want those edges soft, not sharp like they are. So there we go. Just there. Just softened that a little bit with a little bit of water. Now let's go through and get this nice and solid green I'm gonna move to a little bit bigger of a brush that one's dirty so I'm just gonna grab a clean one because I can because I can get that green on there there we go On the edges and just in just a second I'm gonna get the main green on there though it's driving me crazy so that's much better you can't see the canvas behind it crucial all right all right let's get some of that green kind of blended and mushed in there a little bit around these edges on this edge there we go. 
Perfect. Perfection. Okie dokie. Now then, we've got this all sketched out. It's time to start getting some color in here. Let's start with um, the red highlights that are here and there. We know there is a nice little red highlight. It goes right there. And then blends out. <clears throat> There's also a nice little red highlight. Goes along here. to the edge. And we'll just carry it around the side. Nice. We've got some more red that is on the tip of this leaf. And on that part of the leaf and we'll just bring it around the edge and all along here that's got a nice red hue to it all of these little tips Starting to pop. Then we're going to go around the edge. Sweet. Water. There we go. Where else do we have a little bit of red? Up here? all the way down to there. This leaf tip is red. And we're just gonna assume that that's red too. Fabulous. And Little bit of shadow. <clears throat> Little bit of red through here. Okay. Then we have teeny tiny. Oh, teeny tiny bit of red right here. Going this way. And wanting to go that way. A bit more up through here. Okay. Sweet. Any red? Well, let's put a little more red highlights in through here, too. few spots I can see the canvas nice So we've got a few green spots out there in the, the outside leaves. 
that we need to that we need to take a look at. Oh, while we're at it, let's add a little bit down here. And I actually added, a, I just picked up a little bit of just the pure orange on this one for that second coat. Just a little bit of that. Yeah, that pure orange is, and I'm going right over that green. That's nice, right? Pull a little bit of that color in here. Nice. Okay, so let's move on and get some of that, that uh, little bit of green that's here. We have a little bit of green coming over here and it's washed out. So let's wash that out with some water. Around the edge. And then there's a, some green right through here. Around the edge. Fill it out a little bit with some water. Um, green patch through here. Great. I'm going to put just a little teeny bit of green just because we kind of lost that green through here and here. Then we have in this V a streak of green. And I'm going to bring that streak around the edge. And then we also have some green right through here. Like a so. Okay, so let's do some shading. We got that black. We're going to bring some of the black over to our brown. Make a nice, yummy dark brown even if we made a couple shades of really nice yummy dark brown that would be good and then we also want it really watered down as well well not like really watered down but there's not a lot of just this solid color dark but Let's get started on some of the darker spots. So it's definitely darker all through here. All along here. Through there. dark. It's one of the bigger, darker areas 
through here. Let's get some water on there and fading it out. Uh, totally dry brushes, really nice to use too. Picks up extra paint. But, oh, that needs smudged out too, right through there. Yeah, let's take a look at how the side's looking. looks great and that looks great so let's go through and do this next little section so this is all dark through here all under through here is dark Out to the side like a soul and then let's get it wet mush it around a little bit get blended And on this side. Sweet. Okay. Let's take a look here. Look here. See, we've got dark. And some dark through there. All the way down, we want to differentiate between where the leaves are. But we want a nice blend. Around the edge. This other area. Kind of lost a little bit of that. Can bring in some lighter. And there it is. 
Bring that V back. Perfect. Okay, we have a lot of dark all up through here. Quite a bit. So, right there. All of this. Down to there, and then we start blending it. That's dark. This is a dark spot. And then there's this light spot. That's all dark. All of this. It's blended out, but this is a definite line, and then this there. That's that's that, I think, and I just need to blend that. Blend it. Totally. And smooth those edges before they dry. That is Don't forget the top. Gonna want some love too. Yeah, that's looking great. We've got small amount of dark along here. Get that edge blended. And then dark through there. And then all of this is dark. Kind of blends up there. So, let's take a look at that edge. 
how it painted. See, it's nice. I mean, the edges aren't, aren't perfect, but they're definitely an extension of your painting. So. So I believe in painting them. Um, and let's get this kind of smudged down a little bit. Again, even though it's on top, it still needs some love and attention. Lots of love and attention. There we go. There we go. Don't forget to get it wet. Mm-hmm. Get a little dirty in here, perhaps. I'll just get that really, really, really uh, wiped off. There we go. Just to kind of dull it out a little bit so it's just not that solid brown that we used. I think that we are pretty darn close to being done with this side. Let's just put a little bit of of dark shadowing under here. There we go. That is actually when you get down here to the very that's pretty dark. So let's do that. And then let's just kind of blend it. There we go. Looks great. I want to give that bottom some love, but I'm not going to flip it just yet. Okay, let's work on the other side. Not as dark as, as this here side. And so let's get working on it. There's, um, we have, actually, we're going to start right here and then at the end we'll flip it. So we have some dark over here. It goes all the way over to the edge. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Solid. All right. All right. So, we're going... Oh, we're gonna go into the detail right here. Get that all blackened. That little area right there blackened. And then other than that, let's see, we've got a little bit of shading along here. Right, kind of all the way along right here we have some shading. There we go, there we go. Uh-huh. All right, so let's just uh, do what we do. Get it wet and blend it out just a little bit. So we don't just have this solid black line. Got a little drippy through there. Um, it's also just a little bit of this is going to come all the way along here. And we're also doing some shading along here. And that's all black down there, but I'm going to wait to do that until until I flip it. All right, let's see. Definitely have a little bit of dark through there and through there. And all the way, just a little bit through there. See, is there anywhere that I really need to kind of blend it? Maybe a little bit. All right. Excellent. Okay. 
back to over here. This here is a dark spot. And under here is a dark spot. And all back here is a dark spot. So we'll just get that painted. Prompto. Get this shaded. Blended. Sweet. All right, let's see what we got going on here. We've got some dark outlining. Moving it along here. And a little bit along there. Just blend that in. Actually goes all the way Down there. Sweet. And then this is all dark. Blended. That needs blended. That's rough. Wow. Keep going. Let's keep on keeping on. Right under here. We've got some dark. I don't know how brown black this is anymore. All right. Here we go. And around the edge. Sweet, a little bit of dark through here, along there, around the edges. Getting there. We are really close. Let those edges out a bit. Nice. Got some dark through here. And all through here. Blend it. Blend it. Oh, 
There we go. And then we've got some dark up through here. And we're just going to carry it all the way up to the top. A little bit up through there. And blend it. Sweet. Great. Looking good. Before we flip it, we're going to go down and we're going to work on this here um, main vein. The main vein. And... And then we'll flip it. So, I got a smaller paintbrush. And I'm going back to my my bright, yummy, red-orange that I made way back in the beginning. This is brown through here, but then once it gets down to about right here, it turns red. So let's get that stem of the leaf. And then we can go through and highlight it with some of this dark brown that we've been using. There we go. There he is. Well, I'm coming through here. Um, if you can see that, but I'm going to put it there anyway. I'll do it with orange. There we go. Why not? Okay. Great. We got that red in there. With my fine brush, I'm just going to go from the very top, and I am going to include the top. And it can be nice and fluid with some water. Gotta get that leaf marked in there. Run the side along. Let's see, down to this is a spike off. And this is a little spike off too. A little bit of a spike off here. Just the littlest, tiniest, teeniest details right now. There we go. Just a little teeny bit of detail. I like a little bit of this, this little leaf down here. Sweet. Okay, let's flip it. So that we can pay some attention. This little area down here. Not 
to the dark. And it's all along here. And what we're going to do, we're going to blend it. Blend it. That too. Awesome. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Dirty that up just a little teeny bit. Oh yeah. I got the hiccups. There we go. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Georgia O'Keeffe's. Oh my goodness, I didn't tell you the joke. Holy cow. So, um, Georgia O'Keeffe is the mother of American modernism. That is her title. And speaking of mothers, what does a mama color wheel say to a baby color wheel? Don't use that tone with me. Ba -dum -pum. All right. So <laughs> there it is. Big bonding brush. Georgia O'Keeffe's Autumn Leaves. If you enjoy what you're seeing, please subscribe. If you painted along, please share. If you didn't paint along, please share. Please like, please subscribe. Spread the word, spread the glory. This is all free. I would absolutely love to make Make a buck off of being a YouTube star. Oh, yeah. So, also, if there's a painting that you would like to do, let me know. Drop me a line. You can squeeze it in. Um, next month is October, and there's all kinds of fun stuff I have planned out. Scary, scary, scary. This month, we still have a couple more beautiful autumn scenes. This is the first one, Georgia O'Keeffe's Autumn Leaves, 1924. Thanks for coming. Thanks for hanging in there with me. And, um, you know, until I see you next time, stay creative.